YouTube, how the heck you doing today? I'm doing good. It's going to be a hot day today, so I'm doing my errands real quick. Got to run out to the uh, post office, drop off a little package, but then I'll be heading back. I did uh, the walk with Riley earlier today before the heat started uh, getting up. They're in the uh, 80s. It's already 83, so I'm going to be heading back after my errands. And uh, we're going to talk about the iPhone 10 or iPhone X. And a little about uh, the iPhone 8 also, iPhone 8 Plus. Uh, give you a few thoughts on that. And something I've been debating as far as should I get the 10 or not, iPhone 10 or not. So I got a few things uh, I'll go over with that on you. But uh, until then, I will see you back at the house and enjoy the trip. I dropped off the package, gonna head on home. A little hungry though. I did my P90X this morning, so I burned off some calories. But what should I replace it with? Should I replace it with some uh, good nutrition, a nice good sandwich, our little uh, Starbucks? I mean, there's uh, low calorie Starbucks too. You can just do the straight uh, macchiato or something. But they got the pumpkin spice latte out now. I might do that. It only comes around during the uh, season of fall and everything, so what will I do? I don't know, but uh, let's head on that way and maybe I'll make up my mind before I reach on home. So I bypassed the sandwich and I got my uh, pumpkin spice latte. It's not like the frappuccino with all the uh, whipped cream and stuff, so I am saving some calories on that. Plus I got the tall instead of the grande. So I'm going to head on home and enjoy that in the meantime, and I will talk to you in a few. Hang on, guys. So I got back home, <clears throat> decided the uh, latte was a little hot for today, because since it's going to be 83, or is 83 already. So I made my own little iced uh, coffee there to add some ice to it. It's very good that way, plus you get a little more in your iced coffee than when they do it, because they add all the ice and then they add the coffee. This way I get a full tall size coffee and I can add my own ice as much as I want before it gets uh, too watered down and I'll just enjoy it. So let's sit down and we'll talk about the iPhone X and iPhone 8. So if you haven't been hiding out, you probably know by now that Apple dropped its three uh, new iPhones last week during their keynote presentation. And the first one up that they did was the iPhone 8. Why they skipped 7S as far as its naming convention most likely because during their seasons when they do an S version of the phone, it's typically inside that they do the changes as far as upgrading the processor, maybe the camera, and some other aspects of it, but not the design of the phone itself. Well, this time they also upgraded the outside by removing the aluminum backing and making it a glass backing, this time with aluminum banding going around the phone. So that's most likely why they did the iPhone 8 this time and not a 7S. What they'll do next year is beyond me. They may do an 8S or just go to the 9. But once they hit the 9 or the 9S and they hit the iPhone 10, which they also released this year as an iPhone X or iPhone 10, uh, they may have some trouble with their naming conventions. But let's go ahead and jump in on the iPhone 8 and let's just see what uh, the differences are. First thing you'll notice, it carries the same form factor as the iPhone 7 as far as the dimensions and everything. The one big difference you'll notice is the back side is no longer aluminum, but a glass back, which gives you the capacity to do wireless charging on the iPhone for the first time since it was introduced. Now I do like the new glass back on the iPhone 8 and it looks really nice. They've even tweaked the coloring of the rose gold to make it more gold looking this time than it previously was. But it still has that same look of my iPhone 7, uh, which is getting kind of old after uh, I believe iPhone 6 is when this form factor came in. And it may have gotten a little thinner since then, but it's still about the same look and feel uh, that it has since it was introduced in iPhone 6. One of the things I do like about the iPhone 7 is its form factor and screen size, although I'm looking for a bigger screen. And one of the reasons I didn't go with this 7 Plus is it does give you that 5.5 measurement of the screen, but it was just a little too big for me to be carrying in my back pocket, which I like to do 
constantly with my phone or even in my front pocket when I'm walking around with shorts and got the AirPods in and everything. So that was not uh, something I was really looking into. But then they introduced the iPhone 10 or iPhone X, but I'll call it the 10 because that's what they want it to be called. And that's when we saw this new form factor that is very similar in size to the iPhone 7, but it had much bigger screen and edge-to-edge -edge bezel-less screen of 5.8 inches. So I was wondering as I was looking at this, how big is this phone really? I mean, I've seen pictures side-by-side -side comparisons and everything. So I was thinking, what can I do in the meantime to figure out what size this phone really is? So I picked up this iPhone case from totallycase.com. They have a nice blue color that I like, so I picked that one up, got that in. And as you can see, as I put in my iPhone 7, the top you have maybe one-eighth of an inch overlap as far as where it's hitting and maybe not even a quarter of an inch at the top so that is a good form factor and it's going to have a 5.8 inch screen so it's pretty much going to go all the way to the top and sides we won't talk about that notch I mean it's it doesn't bother me it's it is what it is it's, it's it has a lot of electronics and devices up there that they have to show to get the technology that they want out of that phone. So that doesn't bother me, so I'm not gonna talk about it much, but what I wanted to see for myself was just how much size phone this was. And this was probably the best way to do it, was to just get an inexpensive case. This, like I said, this is from Totally Case, and I was a first time customer, so I also got a slight discount on it. But then what did they do a couple of days later? I get an email where they introduce this new coral blue one. Now if you watch my Samsung video, I got that into coral blue because I like that color. So now I'm going to have to decide if I want to do it coral blue and keep both, you know, this darker blue and the coral blue, but that's down the road. I won't have to worry about that now. But after getting this case, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with the iPhone 10. Uh, comment below if you think there's another phone, even Android, that I should probably check out that I want to stay within this form factor of this size phone but with a bigger screen that's going to just give me the the day-to-day -day that I need to use this for. I'm not sucked into the Apple ecosystem like some people say, iSheep or whatever, you're sucked into their ecosystem. My music, I rip from my own CDs that I buy, movies, I usually get the digital version along with the uh, Blu-ray version of it so that is not the case as far as the Apple ecosystem. I just always liked the way it works so let me know in the comments below what you're thinking I'm still debating whether I'll go with the silver or the black I've always gone with the black back as far as or even the space carry because I like the black front as far as the screen bezeling but now that the bezeling on the new iPhone 10 is going to be black on both the silver and the black one I'm debating whether to go with the black back or the silver back and it's pr most likely I'll go with the silver because it's kind of throwing back to the classic uh, original iPhone that was introduced way back 10 years ago in 2007 but that is yet to be seen I still got a few weeks to think about it let me know what you think about that as far as color if you're gonna do the iPhone 10 price wise you're getting a lot of phone for the price uh, it is high there are things out there that are a lot cheaper and may or may not be better. Let me know about that too. And we'll talk about that too. The 10 won't be out for another month or so. So let me know and don't forget to subscribe and like this video or dislike the video, but let me know why. And I will catch you next time, guys. Have a good one.